the final thing you guys are going to do to wrap up our sort of credit card um, debt is going and buying these five items that you researched yesterday with your credit card using that credit card calculator. Um, but we're going to pretend like you're only making the minimum monthly payment so you guys can see just how much interest fees the credit card company is charging you. And we can determine how much you actually paid for these different items. Because when you use a credit card, you're actually paying the purchase price plus the interest the credit card company is charging you. So you're actually paying more than the original price that you saw. So I'm going to walk through one example with mine so that way you guys um, will pretty much know how to do the other four on your own. So we're going to go back over to class, uh, our Google Classroom under Classwork. We are still in option B, final workbook. We are still on that same document that you guys were using yesterday. So make sure to go ahead and open back up the credit card calculator. And we can go ahead and put back in the APR, our interest rate of 19.9%. That is what the credit card company uses to make money off of you if you don't pay you off your credit card at the end of each month. So we can go ahead and put that there and then we'll go figure out how to put uh, these. So you guys should have already done these first couple pages. So now we're down here where you researched five different items yesterday and you wrote down how much they cost. So now we're gonna figure out the minimum monthly payment for that item the interest the credit card company is going to charge you, and then the total cost of that item. So for mine, I found a computer online where the purchase price was $1,500. They can be kind of expensive. So remember, just like the problems yesterday, typically a credit card company only requires you to pay off 3% of whatever you borrowed from them. I personally think this is not a great way to use a credit card. You should try to always pay way more than the minimum, but I want you guys to see what it looks like if you only make the minimum, which I do believe if you do that every single month is an irresponsible way to use a credit card. You need to save those months where you only pay the minimum for your emergency months, where you literally just don't have enough money to pay more than the minimum. But if you find that you guys are paying the minimum every single month on a credit card, then we need to look at some other options to help out that uh, debt cycle. But make sure you guys have a, a calculator out. You can always just go to desmos.com and there's a calculator function up here. So like I said, to find the minimum required monthly payment that the credit card company will be looking at, we're gonna take our purchase price times 3% but we're gonna use 0 0.03 as a decimal when we're multiplying. So I'll go over and use 1500 times 0.03%. And the credit card company would only require me to pay $45 in order to not get penalized on my credit score. So now we're gonna go take that 45, the purchase price of $1,500 we put on the credit card the minimum monthly payment of 45. So I use my credit card to buy that computer. We already typed in the interest rate. Minimum payment per month was 45. And now let's see how long that's gonna take us. It's gonna take us 49 months, so almost four years. And we're gonna pay a total interest over that four years of $701. So we'll go back. You guys won't have to do this. This will already be a box for you. $701, and then it's finally paid off. But in order for you guys to understand how much you actually paid for that computer, we're gonna take the actual purchase price of the computer that you borrowed from the credit card company. Then we have to add it to how much interest fees the credit card company charged you. And that's how much money you actually paid over those four years for your computer. So we're gonna take 1500 plus 701. 1,500 plus $701, 2,201. So even though the computer only actually cost $1,500, 
if I used my credit card and only paid off that minimum monthly payment, I would get charged 701 more dollars from the credit card company. So I actually would have paid $221, $2,201 for that computer, which is pretty insane. Um, it's totally okay to use your credit card for big purchases. The big takeaway here is you should not pay just the minimum. You should always try to pay as much above the minimum as you possibly can afford in your budget. And if you think about the budget activity we did a couple weeks ago, hopefully you can have up to 20% of your paycheck set aside to pay off your credit card. So that way you're not only making that minimum payment. You should only pay the minimum payment on your credit card bill in emergencies because you're just getting charged so much interest over time and paying way more for the things you use your credit card on than if you just had saved up and used cash. So now you guys are going to do that same process of researching, finding that minimum monthly payment, knowing it's usually 3% of your credit card bill, using the calculator over here to find that total interest those interest fees that the credit card company made off of you, then like I said, your total actual cost of the item is the purchase price plus the interest fees the credit card company charged you. And now you guys will go and do this for all five of the items that you guys researched. So you guys can see just how much interest and fees a credit card company can make off of you if you borrow money for them and only make the minimum payment which is the worst way to use a credit card.